hello friends it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for always tuning in to my channel i really do appreciate you thank you for your love and your support so far you guys have been really awesome yes and don't forget that this is saffron media and we are in the business of giving you the latest the hottest most reliable and authentic news so guys you don't have to miss anything in this channel invite your friends and your families to be a part of us because they will also enjoy most recent and interesting news and right here uh it seems efcc have got some jobs to do as uh, mago says that is ready to probe both ex-governors seven governors uh, yes he has decided to front and also flaunt his uh, power as he says that it's going to probe both ex-governors and even serving governors and he said they are working towards doing that and all those that have pending cases in court that they would not leave no stone unturned as they will ensure that those people get back to court and they would be persecuted accordingly so guys uh there's a lot but before we bring you details of that if you haven't subscribed please ensure that you hit the subscribe button immediately and also turn on the notification bell because that is the only way you get to be notified anytime we drop a new video and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up your thumbs up would mean that you saw this video and you liked it okay let us get into the details of the news and see what efcc that is the economic and financial crimes commission yes okay the acting chairman of the economic and financial crimes commission ibrahim magu has said the anti graft agency is investigating serving and former state governors for graft according to him suspects who connived with the governors were being invited for questioning magu however did not disclose the identities of those on the probe as saying such would jeopardize investigations speaking at a press conference marking the 2020 democracy day in abuja on thursday margo said the agency had recovered assets in excess of 980 billion naira in the last five years he also described that the commission within the same period recovered a large array of non-monetary assets that include real estate private jets oil vessels filling stations schools, hotels, trucks, cars, jewelry, shopping malls, and electronics. He noted we are, on, we are on course in all cases we are prosecuting. Our scorecard in the area of conviction is 2,240 in the last five years. And we covered assets in excess of 980 billion naira with quite a large array of non-monetary assets we are also investigating serving and former governors and questioning those conniving with them on the case of former governor of abia state senator oji uzokalu margo said the efcc will go back to court the commissioner of police added that the investigation by the united kingdom police into activities of a former petroleum minister, Deziani Alison Madwiki, was taking too long, adding that the EFCC had placed her on a watch list and on red alert by Interpol system. Meanwhile, the Lagos Journal Office of the EFCC said on Thursday that secured 257 convictions and recovered the sum of 14 trillion and 99 billion 952 million 688 point 22 million naira and 5723 thousand and forty two million dollars and 31,500 pounds in the last one year the anti-graft agency added that it arrested 1,444 suspects with over 300 of, the, of, of them, including internet personality Ismaila Mustafa, Alias Monfa, and his conspirator Hamzat Kudai, arraigned in court. 
a statement on Thursday by the Zone's Head of Public Affairs, Ayo Oyewole, quoted the Lagos Zona head of the EFCC, Mohamed Rabo, to have given the figures. Rabo said, in fact, we are prepared more than ever before for a more robust collaboration with the FBI, the FBI this year, he said. Well, we hope the EFCC will be ready to, you know, do their jobs effectively because over the years we've seen uh, instances where uh, sitting governors uh, move to a more benefiting party that is in power and uh, all, all their probes are being, uh, you know, uh, set aside and they're not even probed for anything. And we even have uh, people in you know, in government that are already are supposed to be in the problems that are not. And of course, uh, if you don't start from there, I wonder uh, what kind of probe the EFCC really wants to do. Is it that they are manhunting or witch hunting some sort of people? Because it seems some people that were in a particular party, uh, when they see that a particular party is not doing well, they move to the other party because that party is in power and they are likely not to be probed at that time. So do you think things should continue like this in Nigeria? Because all this is making it more difficult for people to report uh, the right, to give the, the, the right report about uh, things that are happening in Nigeria. We've seen governors, commissioners, we've seen senators, you know, with billions of, of, of Naira and even dollars and pounds, and even some with uh, issues of money laundry in other countries. But because they're in government or they're in power at that time, nothing is being done. Do you really think EFCC would be able to do this to those in um, power presently? Because they are saying they are not just uh, going after those that are uh, in power that those that are not in power that they are going for everyone both those that were in power those that are still in power and even every other person that has been involved with one form of fraud or the other do you really think efcc would do the right thing because when we talk about this problem we talk about uh, this uh, economic and financial crimes commission doing their job do you think over the years they've actually been doing their jobs you think EFCC has been doing the right thing because I think there are a lot of people that should be probed that are still working freely. EFCC have tried over the year but they can do better. They can as well not be one-sided and face it as it is instead of trying to make it look like um, those in power cannot be probed. But this time since they said both in both governors in power and those out of power will be probed, we just hope that will be the case. Because even those that uh, haven't done half of what those have done have been probed and some are serving terms in jail, why some are still in court, why some are about to be probed. And there are so many that you and I know that should be probed. So when all this is happening, do you think EFCC could really go ahead to get things done in Nigeria as it is supposed to be? Want to hear from you, want to hear your comments, want to know what you really have to say about this. Do you think EFCC is capable enough? Do you think the uh, management, that very management, do you think they are competent enough to handle things in Nigeria as it is? at the moment or you think it's just a charade they're just trying to make it look like they're working why they're really not working so i want us to look into this critically and also give our comments and uh, you know let's share our minds let's share our thoughts about this so that is it guys whatever you have to say please endeavor to drop your respective uh, contribution to this i will be waiting and i'll be willing to hear from you about this so thank you so much and i hope that the efcc do the right thing and also do their jobs perfectly well and of course we all want nigeria to be a better place we want there to be less corruption and we hope that the uh, financial crimes commission really puts themselves in that position where they can do the jobs for nigerians Thank you so much, guys. If you have anything to say, please, we'll be waiting for you in the comment section. And also, if you haven't subscribed, endeavor to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for all you do. I really do appreciate you. 
Do have a pleasant day. Bye for now.